Thank you, uh, Whip Emmert. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm real excited to uh, see that y'all get the opportunity to meet some of our new freshmen, some of the majority makers, and Lori Chavez de Reamer is one of those happy warriors from Happy Valley. She was the mayor of Happy Valley and uh, really great when I got to go out to her district in Oregon. You could tell she was going to be somebody that came here to help fix the mess that we're seeing in Washington and throughout our country. And uh, as Elise has talked about, we're going to be introducing you to more of those freshmen every week. And uh, we're also here ready to go to work. And I think one of the most exciting parts of this new majority is that, number one, we wanted to jettison the approach that Speaker Pelosi took, where she shut down the ability for even committee chairs to be involved in addressing problems. Bills were written out of her office. Uh, she wouldn't even let chairmen amend major pieces of legislation in committees, uh, not allowing rank and file members the ability to have an input in how the process works. And so this week, you're going to see another example of us opening things up, an open rule, something we haven't seen in seven years here in Congress on the Strategic Petroleum Reserve Bill uh, that says if the president's going to raid SPRO, not during emergencies, but just in normal times, he at least has to show a plan for how he would replenish it. If you're going to take something away, you should show people how you're going to refill it. And what was interesting is that the president issued a veto threat on this bill yesterday. And it's important that you read the veto threat to understand just how misguided President Biden's approach to energy is. And in the veto threat, he actually said that his policies of rating SPRO have led to lower gas prices. Now, I don't know if the calculator is broken at the White House, but since Joe Biden's been in office, we've seen a 40% increase in gas prices. That's not lowering. It's actually increasing so dramatically that it's hurting hardworking families. It's one of the reasons that you pay more for everything when you go to the grocery store, uh, when you go to the shopping mall. Anything you buy now costs more money because of Joe Biden's policies, and he's trying to claim that that's actually lowered costs when, in fact, it's increased costs. And families know that. Uh, they know if you have bad energy policy, it makes our country less safe. It's not like we're using less energy. We're actually using more energy. It's just now we become more reliant on foreign countries. There's no reason for that. We have the most abundant supply of energy here in America. And by the way, if you're concerned about carbon emissions and from the sound of all those private jets going to Davos last week, uh, it seems like those, those faux uh, conservationists uh, seem to like talking in foreign countries about it, but they don't practice it here in America. Nobody makes energy in the world cleaner than the United States of America. So stop flying Air Force One to Saudi Arabia and other countries begging Russia to produce energy when we can make it here cleaner, better, lower in the cost, and uh, creating really good jobs in America. But in the meantime, we've got a strategic petroleum reserve for a reason. It's there for emergencies. It's not there to mask the president's bad energy policies. It's there in times of need. And this president's rated more than 40% of that reserve. This bill just says, if you're going to raid the reserve, show a plan on how you're going to replenish it. And why the White House would issue a veto threat on that boggles, I think, the mind of most common sense people. But unfortunately, that's what we've seen commonplace from this administration. Obviously, there are a lot of other issues like the debt ceiling that the whip talked about that we are deeply interested in solving. Uh, but